Hey everybody, it's Tim Pepper here with Fly Fishing Board Rail Fitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. I'm here to bring you another quick tie. We are on season four, episode five tonight. We're gonna be tying the Ken Lockwood streamer. Old classic, definitely an effective fly. We're gonna take you through this one tonight. So what I want you to do is go ahead over, grab your Thursday Night Live season four kit. If you don't already have one of these, you can still purchase them. Just head over to our website, www.flyfishingbowriver.com uh, backslash TNLS4, and you can still purchase yours today. If you've got yours, go ahead and open it up. You're gonna be looking for season four, episode five. If you flip it over, there's two in the back there. One is the sulfur merger and the other one is this Ken Lockwood. It's got the red yarn in there. Go ahead and grab that one out. Pull out that, hook, that size eight streamer hook. Get it fixed in your vise and we'll get started. Let's head on over to the vise, guys. What I'm tying on tonight, as far as thread is concerned, is I'm using a UTC 140. A little bit heavier, gonna be working with some bucktail tonight. Like a little bit heavier thread for that. We're gonna go ahead and start this right behind the eye. Work it back, we're gonna trim out that tag. Get rid of that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab, we got some silver tinsel in there. Okay, we're gonna grab that silver tinsel. We're gonna tie it in back here and we're gonna work it all the way back to the back of the hook. We're gonna do a gathering wrap, get that secured. We'll keep it on this near side of the fly towards yourself. Work that all the way back. I'm gonna leave that right at the top of the hook, Ben. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna just open spiral my thread back up to the eye. This time I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab that red yarn we gave you. You could actually just do this with red thread if you like, um, but as not everybody might have that in your kit as we didn't provide it, we gave you some yarn to do it with, it works just the same. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this off even. I'm gonna tie this in about a third of the way back. And what I'll, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this, keeping it up on top of the hook, just pulling it tight. It's gonna make a nice even underbody all the way back to where we left that tinsel. Then I'll just do nice, even spiral all the way back up. I'm gonna leave this with about a, uh, an eye length behind the eye all to itself. I'm gonna do a little half hitch, save my work. Set that bobbin over my cradle. First thing I'm gonna grab is I'm gonna grab this yarn. We're gonna be wrapping this forward first. Nice even wraps, opening that up. Want to keep a nice even underbody as we move forward the best we can to keeping it good and consistent. Work that all the way forward till we reach our tying thread. Once we get to it, bring our thread back in. We'll get that tied off right there. Couple wraps in front, a couple behind. We trim that yarn out. Get that out of the way. Save it for your next fly as you can tie another one with it still. Make sure that's good and secure. One more half hitch. I do like to use the rotary function when putting the tints on. It helps you keep a nice even, evenly spaced wrap sequence. You can kind of keep your fingers in the exact same place and just keep spinning. What it gives you is a very nice even wraps with the tinsel. Bring your thread back in, tie it off just like we did the yarn. Couple wraps behind, couple wraps in front to secure. And we'll trim that out. Like so, set it aside. Make sure that's good and down. Now next thing we're gonna go and do is we're gonna grab some bucktail. So in your kit there you got a couple of big clumps of bucktail. We're gonna take a piece that's, well roughly something like this. Not a ton, we don't want it to be super thick wing, um, but we do need enough to show the, the good black wing on top. Now those tips aren't gonna be even, so we're gonna have to stack this. So go ahead and grab your hair stacker. You might need a tall one, like one of the big uh, shore ones I have here. Go ahead, get the tips put in it. Let's stack that up. It can be a little hard at times to stack this bucktail just to get all the tips kind of oriented in there, but it's the perfect material for this. This or black bear are kind of the common um, hairs that are used to tie this Ken Lockwood. Once you got that good and stacked, all we want to do is we want to keep the base towards the back of the fly so when we pull it out, those stack tips are waiting for us right there. Go ahead and grab them. Pull it out. We're going to get rid of any of that under fur that's underneath. And all we're going to do here is we're going to take this down. We want the back the very, very back fiber of the hair to reach just beyond 
about a hook gap's worth behind the actual fly itself, okay? Pinch that down. Take a nice gathering wrap. Take a couple wraps and I like to grab those butts and make sure that it's sitting right on top of the hook because that's where I want it. Give it a little pull, allow it to come up. We want it to flare just a little bit, not a ton, but a little. Get some wraps below. Go ahead and trim out that hair. Get those butts secured down. We're gonna flip that upside down. The last piece of things we're gonna put in here is we're gonna use some saddle hackle. Very common little feather. You can get it real cheap. Great, lots of purposes to use with it. What we're gonna do is you're gonna see on this hackle, saddle hackle, you got all this fluff at the bottom. We don't wanna use that fluffy stuff. So let's get that out of the way so we're not tempted to grab it. We're gonna come up just above it to where we still got those webby looking fibers though. They still got lots of web on them. They're just, don't have the fluff. Okay, we're gonna grab about a, oh man, probably a half an inch worth of them. So kind of pull them out, trying to keep the tips as aligned as possible, which is always a little tough, but go ahead and grab them, peel them off the stem, try to stack them back together, try to even up those, even up the bases. So I'll like pull them out, stack them back on top of each other, then go back and check. And sure enough, those tips are very aligned. Okay, so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna lay them on the underside now I want these, the very, very, very tips of those whites to extend just to the tip of the hook. Okay, and I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna lay that flat right there. Take a couple securing wraps, making sure that's gonna stay right on the underside because that's where we want it. Nice and tight. That type of feather does not slip easily, so it's nice. Don't think it's gonna go anywhere on you. We're gonna trim out anything we don't need. Make sure we secure it down really good. We wanna kind of maintain that full hook length behind the eye of uh, being the base or the head for this, okay? This isn't a weighted streamer, but we wanna kind of have something that looks like a divine head. The very original pattern was tied with some jungle cock eyes, but we're not gonna do that tonight. The key to this head is actually the whip finish, okay? So having a nice evenly spaced whip finish, which we're gonna do right now, come in, we're gonna do three or four turns, working towards the eye, let that slip off. Give us that nice bulky looking head. Trim that out. I'm gonna go in here with my cauterizer. As I can see, I filled that eye with a little bit of that feather. If you don't have one of these cauterizers, guys, I suggest getting one. They can really help you fix any little mistakes that you have. Okay, <clears throat> from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of my, uh, sorry, my resin here. This is some Solares Bone Dry, okay? My favorite, favorite resin to use. It's nice and thin. We'll touch it with our <clears throat> UV light after we get this on here. We just wanna put a nice glossy appearance on this head. It's gonna go all the way around. It's also really gonna secure it. It's not gonna go anywhere now. Grab my UV light, touch it on there, let it cure. There you have it folks, that is our Ken Lockward streamer. Hopefully yours turned out something like that. I encourage you to give it a try. I bet you're gonna find some success on it. Again, guys, I'm Tim Hepworth here with Fly Fishing Board for Outfitters and Thursday Night Live Fly Tying. This has been another quick tie. Can't wait to see you again. See you soon.